The weather today was perfect for the annual Main Street Arts and Crafts Festival. Over a thousand people were on the lawn of the courthouse having a great time. WXVT Steve Dreyer was there and has more tonight on this story. Crafts Festival took place in the lawn of the Washington County Courthouse Saturday with tons of activities for everyone. Dancing, arts and crafts, food, and the catfish race took place. But more importantly, it's a way to bring everyone together for a great time. It's great to have family around you all the time. They're here all the time. We get to see them, and it's just wonderful. For some who moved out of the area, it's great to reacquaint themselves with those they haven't seen in a very long time. I know a lot of people in the area, so I mean, I come for the camaraderie as well as I love the arts and crafts vendors, but we sponsor a fish every year, so I come mainly, mainly for the fish race. With the catfish race, some of the fun goes into naming your fish, and some come up with some pretty unique names. We've named it Liquors Quicker. That one didn't do so well. This year, our race, our fish in the race is Lickerty Split. Some put a little extra effort on making sure their catfish wins their race by making sure they get the proper training so they are in tip-top shape. A lot of uh, cardio is, is key and, um, you know, just a lot of weight training and repetition. Most importantly, even the kids think it's all about having a good time. It's just, it's just really good spirit out here and it's good weather and the whole run and, you know, all, all the shopping. The festival started off with the morning cotton classic races and concluded with entertainment on the main stage. Even the weather cooperated and provided a backdrop for a day of fun in the sun and music with a little catfish on the side. In Greenville, Steve Dreyer, WXVT, Delta News. And WXVT's Ann Martin was a co-C, co-MC for the catfish race and officials said the event was a huge success.